Hello to all my wonderful peeps out there. Yeah, Mama's still sick. This is still the Christmas season. And we thought we would come to you with our new doggy, Stella, in her Christmas outfit, and the children. And we are all going to pull a Christmas cracker before, even can you be still, before we make you some festive Christmas rice. It's going to be a lemon and coriander infused rice. So first, we're going to cross over. I'm going to hold that one. Unless you cross over, hold one of Eden's. Eden, just put this one down. Just one. And oh, we're going to go quick, quick, quick. Ah! And the children won. Right, off you go. So off you go. <laughs> and let's Eden. put Stella down. Bye, Stella. Right, you need to wash your hands, Mum. You ain't got to tell me that. <laughs> Bye, Stella. Right, well, while Mum's washing her hands, everyone, just wave hello, say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is Christmas Eve, that's why none of the presents have been opened. Now, Mama goes big. This is yeah, a bunch of presents. Year. Christmas say, joke. Can you say Merry Christmas, Eden? Merry Christmas. Wow. <laughs> why does Santa have three gardens? What? Right. Why does Santa have three gardens? Okay, look, ready to do this? Yep. Right. So. This is one of the quickest and easiest rice dishes you will ever do in your life. I'm doing it in a shallow pan, that way it will cook really quickly. All right? So, just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Oh, what's that? That's our <gasps> lamb and asparagus. Are we having that, like having now? that now. Oh, I'm just going to, just before we, just, I'm just going to, yum, lovely, thank That's you. That's for our Christmas Eve meal. Mm. So, to the pot. I'm going to add some garlic, some onions. I'm not going to add the coriander yet. That's going to be one of the things that go in last, the coriander and the lemon. We're going to then add some Cajun seasoning. And where is the Cajun seasoning available, Mum? It's from my website. Now, if you point like that, it's well click there. there. Click there. <laughs> okay. As you can hear, my voice is still quite husky. I haven't quite gotten over this Christmas cold. <gasps> oh, I forgot your cough medicine. I'm so sorry. As soon as we do this, Did I'll you buy some? No, I forgot. I'll go and get well, some. Well, it's a good job my husband looks after me because he went out and bought me some. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome. All right. So, so we just want to get that coated. To that, we're going to add some rice. What type of rice is that? This is... American easy cook long grain rice. Okay. If people wanted to do this with basmati, could you they? could, you could. Okay. But I'm, you know me, I'm about speed mm -hmm. and things that are quick and easy. All right. So just gonna give that a stir. Okay. So basically, you coating all of the kernels with the yep, oil. Yeah. And that's to coat all of the rice. Okay, zoom in. Yeah. And I have a little bit of this, my all-purpose seasoning. You don't have to use it, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, once it starts... Turn that up. Is it up? Oh, yeah, it is. Up. Now, earlier, as you can see in this pot, I did some asparagus and I reserve the water. Uh -huh. So I'm going to use the water that I use to poach my asparagus. Okay. That way we're just taking goodness from one meal to another. So was that don't? And that is <laughs> don't bin it, spin it in another meal. <laughs> Here we go. I think that's my favourite saying of yours so far. It's going to be on a t-shirt. I'm definitely getting some t-shirts, mate. And it's going to be available on a teacup soon. <laughs> Coming to you soon. Don't bin it, spin it. All right, so we're just basically going to now let that come to a boil. When it starts to come to a boil and um, half of the water is gone, at that stage I'm going to add my coriander and fresh lemon juice. So we'll come, so we'll come back to you in five. Okay, so if you can see, the rice has already almost doubled in size and it has absorbed the liquid. So what we're going to do at this stage, we're going to add our coriander, freshly cut coriander, a little bit of onion there, but it's okay. As well as I have the juice 
and the pulp from one whole lemon. And I'm just going to give that a stir. You just work from the outside in. Just that way you're getting it all mixed in. And then I'm going to add just to where I had the lemon. Just going to add a little bit more water. Gonna add that. And at this stage, I'm going to add a touch of salt. I've got some smoked salt. I'm going to put some smoked salt in. Mm, I love this back from Iceland. You notice my Iceland? Oh, yes. Look at you. Smell that, Katrina. Oh, oh. Isn't that lovely? Wow, it's really smoky. Really smoky. It's delicious, too. So, salt, a little bit of water, and we're going to turn that back up. One. And then at this stage, I'm going to cover it. Let's get it kind of flat, flattish. But before we do that, I mean, my taste buds are well, numb. Let me, let me taste it. But it tastes pretty good to me. Right. Here, can you have? Open your hand. Okay. Try. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah? Mmm. Just needs to cook through now. That's lovely. So, now, literally five more minutes and our rice is done. So, I've got an important message for all of you. I just want you all to be aware. First thing, I want you to have a safe, happy holiday, okay? If you celebrate or you don't celebrate, be safe reach out to someone else okay because remember we all we you know your life might be good but there might be someone out there whose life isn't as good as yours i also want you to remember that mama chair and cat we love you we do we really do we really really do but and this but ain't nothing to do with the love you know how we like to upload at least three videos a week if we can when we're on a run in the month of January, things are going to slow down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the reason they're going to slow down is because my daughter, Kat, uh -oh, is go. going into hospital for major surgery. Yeah, I'm having surgery number three. So can you just tell them just a teeny bit about this, Katrina? <gasps> just a little bit. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I have a condition called inflammatory bowel disease. Um, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back in 2005. Um, and I just didn't get better. It was really, really bad. And so in the end, I had to have my entire colon removed. At that point, I was told that I actually probably have Crohn's disease, but they don't know, so I've got indeterminate IBD. So in 2013, I had most of my colon removed, and then in 2015, I had the rest of it removed, and now this time I've got a prolapse. I've got a stoma, basically, but an ileostomy, which means that um, I have to wear a bag and my waist is collected in a bag. Anyway. I have a hernia, I have a twist, I have a prolapse, my intestines have slipped into my pelvis, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So they're going to go in, they're going to fix the hernia, they're going to put some mesh in, they're going to untwist some stoma, they're going to fix the prolapse, they're going to clear all the adhesions, which is the scar tissue, they're going to lift it all up and put it back in place. It's quite a big operation on the 4th of January, but that means that I've got about eight weeks minimum recovery. So in that time, I won't be able to do a lot of the filming, so we're going to have other people kind of step in on my behalf so we may not be able to get as many videos up as we'd like to we just say please bear with us we will be back fighting full fit as soon as possible okay okay so that's another reason i need you guys to become a patreon okay because i might have to go out and hire somebody to help with these videos um and also i'm going to be spending a lot of my time obviously looking after my baby because she may be a grown woman but she's my baby <laughs> All right, and the grandkids. So we just want you guys to know that if things look as if it's slowing down, it's not because we don't care. Yeah. It's because I care too much for my blood. We're not stopping. We're not going anywhere. We just have to stop for a little bit because I have to heal. But also, <laughs> during that period while she's healing is the period when I'm going to get busy rewriting the book. Yeah. Okay, because our cookbook will be coming out early spring. Um, and remember, 
I'm going to put it out there now. If you have been following us and you've got some some of the you've got a really good recipe that you'd like for me to try out. Yes, send it I will to put us. it send it to me because I would like to pick five recipes to include in my book from my peeps. Yes. So please send me your recipes, send me your pictures. I will then cook them. So it got to be something that if you send me, it got to work. <laughs> so don't be sending me something that ain't going to work. All right? But like I said, don't bend it, spin it. All right, let's see how, all right, let's see how our rice is doing. Look at that. Lovely. Yum. And that is ready. So what are we serving that with? So we're going to serve this with. You know what, I'll just go to the table yep. and have a look. So remember the ham that I uploaded yesterday? Well, there is half of it and we've sliced the rest of it. Mum made some potato salad. I will put the link in the video for the potato salad. Also, Mum made some roast lamb, and I will put the link in this video to the roast lamb video recipe as well. And this is just our Christmas Eve dinner. We're going all out tomorrow. So, Mum, do you want to sign off? Oh, let them know about tomorrow. So, your tomorrow. Christmas message. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. <laughs> tomorrow at... I ain't going to do it at 3 o'clock because I don't want to be competing with Her Majesty. <laughs> so, but at about... 4, 4.30. I shall be coming to you. What what accent is that? My British <laughs> sounded like you were from Bombay. <laughs> well, it's one of the colonies. <laughs> Which I guess. Is it not a colony? Not anymore. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Those days are over. <laughs> well, like I said. Alright, so you want me to get ghetto or No, what? no, no, no. I want you to try, um, yeah, Queen's English, go. Okay, darlings, I should be coming to you with a Christmas message. <laughs> Laugh from Katrina Palace. <laughs> because we will be eating at Katrina's tomorrow. So, until tomorrow, when I should be broadcasting to my peeps, live <laughs> and direct. <laughs> have a merry, merry Christmas. It sounds like you're from Africa. And a happy, happy new year. Well, my ancestors were Katrina. <laughs> All right, she just got to jump on me, folk. <laughs> so, I was going back over here. Let me finish. So, I'm going to now, let's see if we can just carve. Mine. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. This is the roast lamb. That is it. delicious. If you look online. Oh, my goodness. You will find the recipe. All right, say goodbye when I eat. All right, so <laughs> goodbye, people. We're going to eat our Christmas Eve. Did you show them our tree? Yes, Mom. Okay, bye. <laughs>